People ask, where do you get your ideas? Well, right here. Here we go. All this is my Martian landscape. Are you really doing this? Somewhere in this room is an African veldt. <sighs> Just beyond, perhaps, is a small Illinois town where I grew up. Oh, Illinois? <laughs> And I'm surrounded on every side by my magician's toy shop. <laughs> I'll never starve here. I just look around, find what I need, and begin. I'm Ray Bradbury. No. And this You're is... not Ray Bradbury. <laughs> I know I'm not Ray Bradbury. I'm me. And you are. I'm... But I am drawing a robot. Yes, you are. I'm going to draw ink and color the Iron Giant. Oh, good. One of my favorite movies. Yes. And let's get started. Okay. And I don't know if Ray Bradbury ever saw The Iron Giant. Yeah. But I get the feeling that he would have loved it as much as we do. Oh, yeah. I do love that movie. I think it's right up his alley. Yeah. I love it. Mm -hmm. I respect it. Yeah. And because of that, I'm challenging myself to do something I haven't really ever oh. done. I'm going to ink okay. all of these lines with a brush. Oh, so not tech pens, not even nope. brush pens. No. Okay. Just a 20-year-old Winsor & Newton sable brush <laughs> with a cracked handle huh? and janky bristles. <laughs> so. Well, make sure you put that down in the info oh. with your tools and materials. Yeah, I will. I will. And, and full disclosure, I did use the tech pens on Hogarth's eyes and mouth. Oh, um, okay. You know, I wanted to challenge myself, but, you know, yeah. baby steps. Oh, good plan. <laughs> You and I have talked about this before. I saw mm -hmm. the Iron Giant in the theater three times yeah. that opening run. Right. And the first two times, just myself and the person I was with were the only ones in the theater. Wow. And then the third time I went, I went with you. Mm -hmm. And you and I were joined by maybe one other couple. Right. Yeah. Which was crazy to me. Yeah. Because there's this amazing movie flickering up on the screen just right. playing to no one. Oh my gosh. I admit though it was nice being in an empty theater Oh, watching it on the big screen. That nice little private showing, right? right? Plus I, I gained some knowledge because I learned how to make a cult classic. Oh yeah? Yeah, basically you have to First of all, you have to create, okay, an amazing movie. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right that's, the, that's the tough step. Okay. But then after that <laughs> Just have some terrible marketing. Oh, yeah. So that nobody shows up. Right. And then, you know, like five, ten years later, people are discovering it. Like, what is this oh, gold yeah. nugget that I've never heard of? What Where's is this thing? Yeah. Yeah. Man, I feel bad, too. I do, too. I feel bad with that just... It was stunning. That movie was amazing Absolutely. to me. And it just played to empty theaters. I know. That is incredible. I read the original story by Ted Hughes. Okay. When this movie was coming out, I thought, well, I have to read oh, the book first. Good idea. Because that's what I do. Right. Um, the movie is markedly different. Okay. And I kind of like the movie story a little better than the book story. Oh, okay. I don't know. It fits me. It fits my personality better than the book. Okay. Which involved a dragon, I think. A oh. space dragon, I think. I'm going to have to read it. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. But Brad Bird did a fantastic job with the movie. Right. I think all the actors did a fantastic oh, they did. job. Yeah. The animation was good, too. The animation was wonderful. But as much as I love the Iron Giant, yeah. every time I see on the internet uh -huh. the rumblings of people uh -huh. demanding a sequel, oh. I just think, no. No. <laughs> no. For the love of all that is holy, didn't we learn our lesson with Incredibles 2? Exactly. Leave it alone. Absolutely Some not. things don't need yeah. a sequel. They don't. Iron Giant is one of those. I agree. Ah, watercolor. Yeah, yeah, I figured. You remember when I did The Creature from the Black Lagoon. Yes, I do. Uh, that turned out okay, I thought. Yeah, it did, yeah. And we used we used pens for the inks. Right. Then I did some ink wash on top of that. Uh-huh. And then I put watercolor down on top of that. Oh, yeah. So then when it came time to do this one, mm -hmm. I thought, you know, we've come that far. Right. What else can we do? How can we take it one step further? Oh, okay. So that's why I thought, huh, I'll try brushing the ink on. Oh, yeah. The ink line. Right. With a brush. And, yeah. you know, I don't really... This is the first time that I've used all of these techniques in conjunction with each other. Oh, okay. And I, I, I think I like it. Yeah. I don't know. At this point, as you're looking at it, yeah. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out. Right. But I'm pretty happy with the results so far. Oh, good. And this is, like I said, the first time I'm trying all this at once. Right. Uh, 
and I like learning new stuff. So maybe yeah. I do a few more of these okay. and, you know, I get better. Yes. That's the plan anyway. That is, yeah. Would you consider yourself an Iron Giant super fan? A uh, super fan, maybe not, maybe a huge fan. Yeah, okay, huge fan. Yeah. You own the movie. Yes. Uh, I know that you own the giant action mm. figure that I have. What I is that, do. Like two feet tall? Yes. Foot and a half? We both have one of those. That came out right. with the movie. Yes, it we did. We both got one of those. Yep. I have the bank. Yes, me too. I have the 12-inch figure. Okay. And... I even have some of the cardboard POP display oh, stuff. You lucky. When it hit video, nice. I grabbed some from the video store. That's great. But you top me. I do? In the merch department. Okay. Because you have a piece of art uh-huh. on your wall. I do. That I have been scheming to get my <laughs> hands on for years. That's right. I've been trying to figure out how to get it into your will. Right. Named to me <laughs> right. and then to bump you off. Oh my god! But gosh. I just can't bring myself to do it. That's good. It's that <laughs> Jacle print yeah. by, I think it was Mark Whiting. I believe so. Signed by the artist. Yeah. Limited edition and right. also signed by Brad Bird. Yes. It's stunning. Yeah, I love it. And it's framed nicely as well. It is framed nicely, yes. Wow. Hey, remember when we found that Pete Townsend video? Yeah. The Iron Giant stop motion music video? Oh yeah, that was crazy. That was wild. Yeah. I guess he was going to adapt the book into some kind of rock opera. Right. And then Warner Brothers bought the rights from him, Uh which is why he has a producer credit on the movie. Okay. But then Warner Brothers changed the story too, Uh, just as he had. And and when Townsend saw the movie, his response was, whatever, I got paid. I got paid. I got paid. It's a (laughs) ringing endorsement. Right. Yeah. Let's link that video in the info box. Yeah, definitely. Now, I left this part in the video okay, because it's very satisfying oh, yeah. to watch this tape come up yeah. and see the clean edges that is beyond clean. where the watercolor went. Nice. I thought you'd enjoy that. I am enjoying it. It's neat. Yeah, it may be neat, but I get terrified every time I do it because oh, I'm, I'm sure. afraid the paper's just going to rip in oh, two. Oh my gosh, I know. And there they are. Yep. Hogarth and the Iron Giant. Yep. A boy and his robot. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. In the okay. sequel that plays in your head, <laughs> yeah, that should never actually be made into a real right. actual sequel, but the one that plays in your head, yes. do Hogarth and the Iron Giant meet up again? Of course they do. Of course they yes. do. I love happy endings. <laughs> 